2020 has certainly been a tough year all around, and with numerous unexpected deaths throughout the entertainment industry, Hollywood hasn't emerged unscathed. It was the tragic passing of NBA legend Kobe Bryant in January 2020 that first shook the public to its core. What can I say? Mamba out. Now, months later, the black community has lost another icon, Black Panther's Chadwick Boseman. The actor succumbed to his years-long battle with colon cancer on August 28, 2020. But Bozeman never spoke of his illness publicly and continued to work despite the pain, making the loss especially shocking and gut-wrenching for fans across the globe. In the wake of his passing, fans began to revisit Bozeman's old interviews. And one particularly haunting story that came to light was an exchange between Bozeman and Bryant. Their final conversation paints a picture of two irreplaceable talents gone too soon. While he's best known for his time with the LA Lakers, Bryant was also a gifted artist. He was so talented, in fact, that his film Dear Basketball earned the 2018 Oscar for Best Animated Short. And it was at an after-party that night that Bryant and Bozeman got to talking. On HBO's The Shop Uninterrupted, a talk show executive produced by LeBron James, Bozeman opened up about his final conversation with Bryant, saying, "...he's not somebody that I was best friends with or that I knew really well, but the crazy thing is that, in those four conversations, it felt like somebody that I knew really well. It was crazy because we were sitting in the party talking about philosophy and poetry. He was like, this is what I'm into right now as an artist, not as a basketball player." We started talking about it, I'm like, yo, we should do something together. Bozeman added that when he asked Bryant when he'd like to start working on a project together, Bryant said in two years. Sadly, they never got the chance, as both men passed away in 2020, the proposed year of their collaboration. But if their track records are any indication, it's safe to say it would have been something great. Though they didn't know each other well, Bozeman was deeply affected by Bryant's untimely death. He took to Twitter to express his grief, tweeting on January 26, 2020, "'I'm heartbroken, shocked. Husband, father, strategist, philosopher-poet, warrior-athlete, filmmaker. Your focus is magnetic, Kobe. My love goes out to you and your family.'" Fans were touched when the image resurfaced in the days following Bozeman's death. Many replied to the post with heartfelt messages of their own, with one fan writing, "'My prayers are with your families. You've been our icons. You make us proud.'" In my head, I'll be like, well, what does this do for the world? Like, actually, what is it, you know, is it actually valuable in, in this climate? And I have to say, yes, it actually is. According to People magazine, Bozeman participated in a tribute to Bryant that aired on TNT. The memorial, organized by the NBA, asked celebrities to recreate famous photos of the basketball great's time as a Laker. Bryant's family never forgot Bozeman's kindness. When the news broke of his passing in late August 2020, Bryant's oldest daughter paid tribute to the actor via a since-deleted Instagram story. People reported that the teenager shared the same photo of Bryant and Bozeman at the Oscars, accompanied by the caption, Rest in peace, Wakanda forever." It should come as no surprise that LeBron James, who was close to both men, was deeply affected by their deaths. At the Los Angeles Lakers playoff game against the Portland Trailblazers, which took place the day after Bozeman passed, James paid tribute to the fallen actor by giving the Wakanda Forever sign while kneeling during the national anthem. In an interview, James expressed not only his grief, but the painful loss felt by the black community as a whole, telling reporters, "...it actually felt like we finally had our black superhero and nobody could touch us. And to lose that, it's sad in our community." According to the New York Post, James concluded the interview by summing up just about everyone's feelings about 2020 thus far. To lose the Black Panther and the Black Mamba in the same year, we can all agree that 2020 is the shittiest year. In my 35 years, it's not even a question.